everyone and welcome back. We're so happy to see you again for this second video in our sharing dance choreography series. So as always, I need you to check your space, make sure you have room to move, that there's lots of space around you. And I'll remind you that as we move together today, I'll provide you some options for how you can modify the movement, but you can change the movement to suit how it best feels right in your body for today. And what we want to experience is just the pleasure of moving together and learning something new. So with that, let's add on to our choreography. Um, starting with where we finished last time, we finished in a curved shape. And then we're going to take that curved shape, and we're going to put our palms around and up to the ceiling. Yeah, and that shape could go way up to the ceiling with your chest and eyes lifted all the way up, or just slightly up and across the room with your hands pressing up towards the high corner of the room. You decide how high you'd like to go today. From there, we are going to flip and come down, presenting our palms forward with our spine coming slightly forward. Let's practice that a few times. Flip, up, flip, down. Flip, up, flip, down. Flip, up, flip, down. Flip, up, flip, down. Really nice, everyone. My chest is lifting as I go up, and it's slightly collapsing or I'm slightly curving as it goes down. So there's a sense of floating the chest up towards the ceiling and then curving the chest slightly inwards. Let's practice that together one more time. Okay, so we're in that curved forward pose. Five, six, seven, and up, and down, and up, and down. Two more times, practicing, and down, and up, and down. Nice work, everyone. So we're actually only going to do that twice. So we do a high and a low, and a high and a low. And then we'll add in a new arm movement. This arm movement is going to reach for the ceiling like you're trying to grab something way high over your head. And then it's like I, I dropped something on the right side of my body, so I'm going to reach far off my chair to come back. Now, anytime you're shifting your weight from your one sitting bone to the other or even one foot to the other, you just have to be aware that you stay anchored in place so that you're safely moving your weight to the side, okay? So whether you're stepping to the side or you're leaning to the side, be aware that you're still anchored into the chair and that you're moving safely in the space, okay? So let's try that. You choose the height of the arms. Maybe they're a little forward. Reach and reach. Then we're going to do the other side. Reach and reach. Try that a few more times. Reach high, reach side, reach high, reach side. Yes, and just like before, you choose how high your arms feel like they should go today. So maybe you're reaching all the way up, eyes up to the ceiling, chest up to the ceiling, or maybe you're reaching slightly forward and out. Feel what feels comfortable in your shoulders, in your body today. Let's try putting those two movements together. So there's going to be the up and down movement and then the high and side movement. Okay, nice and slow to start. Five, six, seven, eight. Find the ceiling, hands forward, palms up, palms front. Now arms reach up, reaching up, reaching side, reaching up, anchor your feet or your sitting bones. Again, going up, flip down, flip up, flip down. Now reaching, reaching up and away, reaching up and away. Excellent, everyone. So the pattern is two of each, up and down and up and down, and then up and side and up and side. I will repeat that up and down and up and down, high and side and high and side. Beautiful. Let's practice that together just a little bit quicker this time. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Up and down and up and down. High reach and side and up and side. Again, flip up and down and up 
and down, and up, reach side, and up, reach side. Excellent. Okay, so let's now think back to some of the movements we learned last time, trying to make the connection between those two parts. So we finished our last phrase by doing these sweeps across our body. We had six sweeps and the hide. So we did left sweep, right sweep, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, gather in. We continue with our new movement. And down, and up, and down. Reach high, reach long, reach high, reach long. Going up, and a down, and a up and a down, reaching up, reaching out, reaching up, and reaching out. Really nice job, everybody. So let's rewind the tape one more step. Before that, we did this little pinch and release. Pinch, release, pinch, release. Third one, fourth one, then a clap. Going in for four counts, going up four, four counts. Then our left, left, and a right, and a left, and a right, and a left, and a right. Bring it in going down. Now our new movement goes up, and down, and up, and down. We reach for the ceiling and reach, and reach for the ceiling and reach. Flip it up, and a down. Palms present, and a reach it. Good job, everyone. We're almost there. Six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Give yourself a little shake. Give your shoulders or your legs a little bit of a rest. So that's almost all of our choreography from last week, plus the material we learned this time. So the only thing we have to add on is the beginning movement, which is that twist and twist and gentle circle of the arms. Yeah, and I'll remind you that your circle could be in front of your body or above your body. The choice is up to you. So let's practice everything we know from the beginning slowly, and then we'll take the opportunity to practice both the new material and last week's material with the music. Okay, finding your feet with Cherise or your sitting bones with me. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. You twist and twist. Breathe to circle at your own arm height. You twist and twist. You circle seven. Two more times. One, two, three, four. This is five, six, seven, eight. And a one, two, three, four. This is five, six. Fingers pinch. Go throw. Two and three four and five, six and seven, grab it, pull it in, four, four counts, now expand, four, four counts, left arm, six and five and four and three and two, last one, curve it in, coming in, new material flips up, one and down, flip up, flip down and reaching, reach, and expand, reach, and expand. One more time, flip it up, flip it down, flip it up, flip it down. Now we reach it, reach it, and reach it, and reach it. Last one, reach it, good. Bravo, everyone. So let's take a minute now and we'll try just the part we learned today, the flip up and flip down with some music. Ready? We start with that curve, going down, flipping up, up, down, up, down, high, side, high, side, again, up, down, up, down, good job everyone, and rest. That was excellent, everyone. And remember, if you want to practice that a couple of times, rewind and repeat until you really feel confident with the movement and the tempo. But now we're going to try 
everything together from the beginning through to the new movements we've learned today. Okay, so before we do that, take a deep breath. Make sure that you're planted in your chair or planted on your feet, that there's length in your spine and deep breath in your lungs. All right, let's give it a try. All right, ready, set, going. Breathe. To the left. And again. All right, now we do those reaches out. Going out. Big clap. Bring it in. Breathe it out. Six. And hide it in. Find the ceiling. New part. Ceiling. And up. Reach it. All right, and again. Excellent, and finishing. Well done, everybody. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling very warm in my body after all those twists and reaches. As always, it's such a pleasure for Sharice and I to dance with you, and we really look forward to seeing you again next time when we'll learn the chorus of our choreography. See you again soon.